UTRGV Men's Soccer is back after an 18-year hiatus. We get you up to speed. UTRGV Women's Soccer and Volleyball are also kicking off their seasons. And we show you how UTRGV Men's Basketball is making a difference in the community. All of that coming up inside this edition of V Nation. That's V for Valley. V for Victory. And V for Vaqueros. This is V Nation. Hey everyone, and welcome to V Nation. I'm Jonah Goldberg. The University of Texas Rio Grande Valley welcomed back to its men's soccer program this year, marking the first time since 1997 as the University of Texas Pan American that there has been Division I men's soccer in the Rio Grande Valley. And to say the least, the excitement is palpable. Romeo Villarreal has the story. With the return of men's soccer, Coach Lease has had three weeks to get his team ready for the season. With not a lot of time for the team to build chemistry, Coach made sure to recruit athletes of high character. Well, one of the things that, that I tried to do during the entire recruitment process was certainly bring in players that were very disciplined and committed to team success. And we have that in every individual. And I think during our training, it's been very hectic. We've been training twice a day. You know, sometimes we've had classroom sessions as well, so almost three times a day. They don't get time to do anything else except soccer. While the team has had only three weeks to get to know each other, junior captain Juanito Garcia says it has and stop the team from developing a strong chemistry. I mean, it's just like anything else, you know, you, you transfer to a new school, you, uh, you know, you, you graduate from elementary school, everything, everything's just new, you know. But uh, with this group of guys, it's been, it's been kind of easy, you know, everyone's real, real close, everyone's been doing everything together and, and it hasn't been really that hard. The soccer program is very young. That fact hasn't caused the team to lower their expectations for themselves this season. I mean, he expects, he expects a lot from us. I mean, just like anyone else, you know. Um, our coach has made a very solid point that he wants us to be winners. And, well, you know, we, we've only um, come to the conclusion that, that we can do that, you know. So our mindset is set on, on winning and, and bringing a good um, result to the school. One of the most exciting things about this season is the high levels of interest in soccer here in the Valley. A fact that has not escaped Coach Lease. I'm hearing about it a lot from our alumni, from local people in the community, from the young kids who are playing youth soccer here. Certainly they keep coming up saying, can't wait for the first game, Coach, can't wait to come out and see you. So I can feel the excitement. It's interesting. I haven't had a chance to feel it because for the last two weeks, all we've been doing is working hard on the practice field. So I think tomorrow when we finally get here and the fans are in the stands, you know, and the referee blows the whistle, I think finally I'll get to feel a little bit of that excitement too. For V Nation, this is Romeo Villarreal. Now let's see how the Vaqueros did in their first match in 18 years. Taking on Houston Tillotson, pick it up in the 28th minute. Ole Tinkin in one on one with the keeper, and there it is. The first goal is UTRGV, and the program's first goal since 1997. Vaqueros lead 1-0. It's an honor. I think uh, it means a lot to me to get a first goal in the first game. That was it for a while, but we move ahead to the 73rd minute. Archie Masson to Isidro Martinez and Isaiah Hines with the finish. 2-0 Vaqueros. Five and a half minutes left. Cool moment coming up. Juanito Garcia with the lob ahead, and Carlos Acevedo is able to switch feet and score. It's more than just the cherry on top of a 3-0 win, but Garcia and Acevedo were teammates at Brownsville Anna High School and UT Brownsville before coming to UTRGV to connect on this goal. I think it was very special for not only me, uh, but for Juan as well. Uh, I think we've connected for quite some years now and we have that understanding and it's very, very awesome to bring it now to UTRGV, a brand new program, uh, so that's very exciting. Uh, I was happy to, to be able to come into the second half and make an impact and, as you say, put that cherry on top of, of this very special win for UTRGV. 
Uh, certainly, you know, not just for me, but for the players. We worked so hard over the last couple of weeks. Um, here we are now in our very first game. It's just nice to see them have a result and, you know, have a payoff for all the hard work they've been doing. Equally, the fans. We had a packed stand. It was great to see so many people come out and support us. So to send those guys home happy with not only a good win, but I also think a good performance, you know, that, that makes me feel very happy. It's starting off in the right foot. Uh, I think it's it's a good start for a very, very long and tedious process that we're trying to build here at UTRGV. So I think it's it's the only way to start a season. You have to start off with that win to get that momentum going, not only individually but collectively. So I think we're on the right track following the process with Coach Lees and, and our assistant coaches. The program is now technically on a three-match winning streak dating back to 1997. Lots of alumni in the area, and this was certainly a special night for them and the entire community. It means a tremendous amount. Um, they've got so much pride. I've spoken to them a lot over the last 12 to 18 months. Um, they're so excited to see men's soccer back at the Division One level here, and, and they share. And I'm sure they were they were absolutely, you know, screaming with delight when the goals, you know, hit the back of the net. You know, they're going to take a lot of pride in this win too. They've already been involved, calling me, giving me a lot of well wishes before the game. So I'm really pleased that they could come out and, and support us and see a good result and a good performance. After one weekend of play, this is what the WAC looks like. The Vaqueros continue the homestand with a tournament this weekend, welcoming in Buffalo on Friday and IPFW on Sunday. Friday's match is an orange out event. Bring four non-perishable food items to donate, and you'll get a free ticket and a free orange t-shirt if you're one of the first 200 fans. And then, after Friday's match, how about a free concert featuring Costello? Promises to be a lot of fun. UTRGV women's soccer also back on the pitch. After a historically strong first season, the Vaqueros know they won't be able to sneak up on the competition as easily this year. That doesn't mean they can't have a successful season, though. We send it back out to Romeo on the soccer beat. Building on his successful first season, Coach Glad Bugario is looking to keep the team moving forward on their way to building a top soccer program in the Western Athletic Conference. I mean, we're continuing to grow. We continue to have better results. Um, obviously, building a team from the ground up is a long-term project, but we've added... Uh, you know, a, a strong group of players to an, a very strong returning core. And, uh, you know, we're looking to make progress as a, as a brand new program. One of the ways the team is building on last year is by adding a lot of depth to the program, adding a number of new talented athletes. Definitely have a deeper team. Uh, we got some great returning players, and then the players we brought in this year have really stepped up. They're fitter and um, have been really working hard in training camp, which has been um, great to see everyone coming in so enthusiastic to play and it's been it's been really good everyone's kind of meshed together really well and uh, it's been a good first month here they've come in to compete and that's what they were brought in to do um, you know obviously we want to have some depth on our squad and having 27 players on the team is 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 helping that process so you can see the level raise the training levels have risen and uh, you know everybody's got competition now a big focus for the team this year is to improve their conditioning, which they believe will move them one step closer to being a conference powerhouse. That's one of the biggest things we noticed with uh, the other teams in the WAC is uh, for us to be really competitive and to want to, you know, be that upper level Division One team, we had to be fitter. And so that was a huge emphasis on making sure spring season we were, we were working eight hours a week just doing runs and sprints. For V Nation, this is Romeo Villadiao. <laughs> The Vaqueros opening up the season against Incarnate Word. This one was a defensive struggle throughout, but Erica Gonzalez came up big time and time again. Not only did she make two saves, but Gonzalez came well out of the net several times to prevent scoring opportunities. She ended up as part of the all-tournament team, but the Vaqueros fall 1-0 in double overtime. One day later, the Vaqueros hosting Southern. Pick it up in the fourth minute. Andrea Barrera taking the corner kick, and it goes in! Let's take another look. Barrera bends it like Beckham. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Vaquero is up 1-0. Early second half, same score. Malia Irvine applying pressure to the defense, forces the pass to Alyssa Espino, off her foot and right to Kelsey Jepsen. First career goal for the freshman, it's 2-0. Jepsen earned all tournament team honors. Later on, Evelyn Powell with the sliding kick. Defense can't clear it. Deandra Aliaga sends it forward, and America Martinez forces it in. Maria Erickson, two saves for the shutout. The Caros win, 3-0.
I mean, it feels really awesome. I'm glad I could do it again, I guess, but I'm just glad we came out and won and put pieces of the puzzle together today and came out with the victory. The day, you know, two days after you lose, um, that was a positive thing. We like that. Every win has its own merits. So uh, today was very uh, important that we, we show, we have a good response, we win, we score some goals. So we're, uh, we're happy that we're, uh, we've come out of the weekend one and one. The Caros closing out their three match homestand against Prairie View A&M. Opening minutes, DeAndre Aliaga with the steal and Andrea Barrera with the finish. The Caros up one nil. Five minutes later, Panthers trying to tie it. Look at the save by Erica Gonzalez. And then the rebound cleared out. 26th minute. Now the match is tied at one, but check this out. Off the throw in by Kelsey Jepson. Speaking of bending it like Beckham, nice ball by Alyssa Espino. Vaqueros go up 2-1, but settle for a 2-2 double overtime draw. You know how if you're really good at sports video games, you usually win about 90% of the time? Imagine having a coach that wins 92% of the time in real life. Next on V Nation, we get you ready for volleyball season. It takes a certain kind of bravery to be part of something new and bold and daring, to go where nobody's gone before. The hard work, the countless hours of preparation, both physically and mentally, they all lead to that moment, that moment when the countdown starts. Three, two, one. Alpha Building Corporation is a proud sponsor of the Vaqueros. Alpha Building Corporation, creating environments where great things happen. The University of Texas Rio Grande Valley volleyball team is ready to reach new heights this season, thanks in part to contributions from both of UTRGV's legacy institutions. UT Pan American contributed six student athletes, including the program's all-time leader in blocks per set. UT Brownsville contributed two student athletes and the head coach, a man with four national championships and a 920 career winning percentage. So what can we expect from him this season? Romeo Virial has more. When recruiting his team this year, volleyball head coach Todd Lowry not only wanted to put together a winning team, but recruit student athletes who he thought would be good representatives for UTRGV's first volleyball class. Well, I think we got great team dynamics. Uh, you know, that was something that when we recruited this group uh, was really important to us, that we got it right the first time. They're going to kind of set the tone for this program for the next 20, 30 years. So we wanted the right group of kids here. Um, not just volleyball-wise, but personality-wise and being involved in the community. We wanted those kids that wanted to do all those sort of things. A lot of the girls are really nice, and I love the team so far, and we've been getting along really great, so we've been having a great start to the season so far. Looking at the season ahead of his team, Coach Lowry looks at the improvement of the team throughout the season as a measure of success, knowing that constant improvement will lead to a winning season. You know, it's early, but I, I think the expectations are high. Uh, we haven't talked about wins, losses, anything like that. Um, the talk's been to get better every day, you know, over the next, you know, 15, 30, 60, 90, whatever days it is. Um, we want to be better each day. It's amazing, like, how fast, you know, all these pieces are coming together and just to see Coach's vision, like, just works so well so early. Like, we're, it's expected, but I'm also very surprised. I think we're all very happy with how well things are going so soon. For V Nation, this is Romeo Viedio. UTRGV Volleyball opening the season at a tournament at Houston Baptist, winning the first match 3-1. Big debut for Boyana Mitrovic, coming up with 17 kills and four blocks. Casey Sanchez back on the court for the first time in nearly a year was next with eight kills, while freshman Alexandra Ecker had six. Another freshman with a big debut was Dubravka Vakoya, who had a match high 30 assists. Second match of the tournament, UTRGV facing host Houston Baptist, and Boyana Mitrovic continues her strong start to the season, 
approached a double-double with 10 kills, 9 digs, and 4 blocks. But the Ficaros fall, 0-3. Final match of the tournament against Alcorn State, and this match was all UTRGV. Alexandra Ecker with another strong match, coming up with 5 kills, 2 aces, and 3 blocks en route to all tournament team honors. But the story, as it was all weekend, Boyana Mitrovic. On the all-tournament team herself after this 13 kills, 7 dig performance, Mitrovic is now leading the whack in kills and blocks per set. Caro's roll, 3-0. It was nice to get away from playing each other in practice, see some, someone new across the net, and I thought the girls came out, played really well on Friday against La Tech. We were low air, we did a lot of the things that we worked on. Um, some of those things went away Saturday morning, and then we kind of got it back on track Saturday afternoon. So overall with the weekend, um, pretty happy for the work first weekend out, but also showed us places we need to need to get to work here home court. One weekend to play down. Here's what the WAC volleyball standings look like. The Caros are back home this weekend for the UTRGV tournament when they'll host Incarnate Word, Southern, and San Jose State. Remember, bring four non-perishable food items to gain free admission and an orange t-shirt while supplies last for the two Friday matches. Really looking forward to the weekend in Carnet World, uh, Southern, and San Jose State. Uh, three games that we definitely think we can compete and win, and we're looking to have a great weekend. The UTRGV basketball team spent their summer working hard on the court, in the weight room, and in the classroom. But they were also out in the community. Coming up inside V Nation, we're off to the Boys and Girls Club with men's basketball. The University of Texas Rio Grande Valley basketball teams were mostly on campus during the second summer session. It was an opportunity to take one or two classes to get ahead of the game, work on basketball skills two hours per week, and spend several hours working on strength and conditioning. It was also an opportunity to engage the community. Romeo Villarreal has the story. The men's basketball team set out to the Edinburgh Boys and Girls Club to inspire kids attending the Boys and Girls Club summer program and help an organization that works to keep kids off the streets. Well, it's important, especially for me personally, to get back to the community because I grew up in a Boys and Girls Club. I know what it's like for a lot of these kids, and a lot of times you don't think there's a way out of our situation, but there is. And the Boys and Girls Club do a great job making us feel normal and having a chance to succeed in life. I feel it's something we're supposed to do. Um, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to give back to the community. Uh, we want the community to support us, so we got to support them. And just by us coming out here, we're, we're displaying a positive image uh, for the basketball team. The two student athlete representatives who made the trip are both Valley natives who wanted to show that just because you come from a small region doesn't mean you can't do big things. I think having George and Joaquin here today from Donna and from Sherryland shows them that they can exceed too. That the Valley kids are special too. But you know, there's living proof here with Joaquin and George that they are successful. They're Division One basketball players. They're going to graduate and they're going to do great things in life. There's a possibility for big things to happen, like no matter the race or uh, expectations that are built around you, but uh, like it gives them hope in a way. For V Nation, this is Romeo Villarreal. Speaking of community engagement, UTRGV Athletics held its annual Women's Athletics Fundraiser, or WAF, over the weekend. The WAF does exactly what the name implies, raises money for women's athletics. Val Amantia Pison donated a $275,000 leadership gift to establish the William D. Pison Endowed Scholarship for Intercollegiate Soccer in the name of her late husband. And now that both soccer teams are in full swing, UTRGV Athletics used the WAF to thank Lamantia Pison for her generosity. This is a wonderful honor. I'm so excited about UTRGV and the athletic program, especially the women's athletic program. I think it's been so long in coming. Um, there's some quality players that they've got. The, boy, the men's team just won in soccer. Soccer's a love for me. I have five children, all of which went through athletics. And it gave them a team spirit. They really enjoyed athletics, and they got to meet people they would not ever meet. So every, some people like music. Some people like drama. I just think athletics is a wonderful thing for all children to be involved in, especially now with physical education and people saying that, you know, with diabetes and things like that, that they need to work out. For my kids, it gave them a sense of that they could work out. They're very comfortable and sweating, and they, um, they still do it to this day. So it, it's just a wonderful thing, and to be honored like this is just, 
it's incredible. It's, it's a very nice honor, and, and I'm just excited to see what UTRGV holds for the next 10 years. Um, I'm so humbled that she was able to, you know, uh, make such a donation and to get the, really the ball rolling. Uh, it, it, you know, without her, there are a lot of girls in the Valley that, you know, wouldn't have this opportunity, such as myself. And um, other girls are really inspired to come out and play soccer, and I'm so happy that she's getting honored tonight, you know. Uh, she could have, she really deserves it. And while everyone at UTRGV Athletics is appreciative of the efforts of Adela Montia Pison with this soccer scholarship, it's more than that because this actually started with Val's mother, Anne, who helped to create one of the first ever scholarships for women's athletics at what was then known as Pan American University. We are very, very proud of that. We still support it to this day. So we have a long legacy of supporting the college. And, you know, it's our corporate responsibility. It's uh, everybody's responsibility. Either you do it in, if you can, in funding, or you do it in donating your time. But that's what makes the community great, is when everybody gets together and whatever they can give, they make it a better for the youth. Want to help prepare our student athletes for excellence in life? Then it's time to become a part of something bigger and support V Nation by joining the V Club. You can become a member of the V Club for just $50 a year. All of the proceeds go directly to student athlete scholarships. So visit utrgvnation.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. Alpha Building Corporation is a proud sponsor of the Vaqueros. Alpha Building Corporation, creating environments where great things happen. It takes a certain kind of bravery to be part of something new and bold and daring, to go where nobody's gone before. The hard work, the countless hours of preparation, both physically and mentally, they all lead to that moment, that moment when the countdown starts. Three, two, one. There's plenty coming up in V Nation this week. Both men's soccer and volleyball hosting tournaments this weekend. Men's soccer hosts Buffalo at IPFW, while Houston Baptist will also be in town to play the same two teams in the first match each day. Volleyball takes on Incarnate Word, Southern, and San Jose State, with three neutral site matches also being contested across two days. Cross Country has its lone home meet of the season Friday evening at Monte Cristo. So if you need something to do on Friday, that's six events across three sports being contested at UTRGV, and also on Friday, women's soccer, although they're on the road visiting Mississippi Valley State before going to Texas A&M Corpus Christi on Sunday. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in V-Nation this week. Schedule another visit for next week. But until then... We for you! a certain kind of bravery to be part of something new and bold and daring to go where nobody's gone before the hard work the countless hours of preparation both physically and mentally they all lead to that moment that moment when the countdown starts 
three, two, one. Alpha Building Corporation is a proud sponsor of the Vaqueros. Alpha Building Corporation, creating environments where great things happen.